Hi guys, I am here today with just one package. I only received one package today in the mail. was supposed to get two, but only one came, so I'll have to wait until Monday. Um, I really just want to say, as I'm looking right here, please forgive my room. It is such a mess. I didn't even make my bed today. I have so much to do. I just don't even have time for that. So, um, But I did want to get to this video because I not going to be able to wait to open this so I want to do it like now so I'm here with this right here of course the USPS always dings it up all every time the box is all crushed in so I'm hoping everything is okay this is my order from fire bling I've been waiting to get this one it honestly has not been long at all I'm like so happy it came today I was impressed so um, I mean and this is from fire bling and Cody her um, scents that I have smelled are so like true to their names it smells just like what it's supposed to I keep going on and on and on about her twilight woods and her moonlight path but those scents I love them from Bath and Body Works they're like my favorite I buy them all the time and I was surprised at how much her smells just like Bath and Body Works does um, even better I would say like they're really really good and I've heard a lot of people say that her other scents are very very true to their name um, I don't know exactly what sample I, I know she sent like a little sample last time I can't remember what it was, but I do remember thinking that everything I got from her, which was my first order, the last one I got, like, smelled just like how it was supposed to. So I'm excited for this order. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open it. has not been opened yet. That's why I had to do the video now, because I would not have been able to wait any longer. I want to get these burning. And with this order, I got, um, I believe it was like melters and a candle and like one cent shot. She had this really, really good promotion going on where if you spend, I want to say it was $50, you would get um, free shipping. And Usually, um, shipping is what keeps me like from not ordering from certain companies because it's so high. So when I see something about free shipping, I like it. Sometimes I can't spend the amount that they want me to to get free shipping. But, I mean, this time I did um, was able to do that and I got the free shipping, which helped out a lot. Like, when it's free shipping, I can get more stuff. Or if I don't have that much money, the free shipping really helps out to where I can get what I want and then not have to pay extra for shipping. So, um, this is my stuff right here. Okay. And my invoice. And I got... Um, one premium natural stone ring candle. She has um, premium natural stone ring candles. That means that you can get a piece in there that I believe is 925 silver. Um, that's guaranteed, I believe, to be at least 925 silver. Like with her other um, ring candles, you can get pieces like that. But then um, you, you can't expect like every time to get a like genuine real silver ring it just you can't get especially it's twenty four ninety ninety nine I think for her regular um, ring candles and um, I I got really really pretty rings from her on the last time I ordered so I'm really looking forward to this time but for twenty four um I think it's twenty four ninety nine you can get the ring candle either way it's gonna be a gorgeous ring it's just not always gonna be real so if you're expecting to get a real ring I would say to go with the premium because then you know that you're going to get a premium ring. I believe now she has premium um, bling rings also, which at the time I purchased this, I was not aware of that. Um, that's probably what I would have went for because I do like bling. I like bling rings. I'm not too much into natural stones. Um, 
I really don't wear them. You know, the ones that kind of look like um, they were chiseled off of like a rock or like really natural. That's not, I don't, that's just not my style. I'm not saying they're not pretty because they are, but it's just not something that I normally wear. So um, probably next time I'll go with the, um, the regular premium bling ring if I want to get like a real ring. Um, and then I got one cent shot and, oh, I forget the prices for the premium. I don't want to say something wrong. I want to say it's like $34.99 for the premium natural stone ring. It could be a little bit less or a little bit more, but I think the premium bling rings are going to be $39.99 and the premium natural stone is $34.99. If I'm wrong, I really apologize, but you'll just have to, like, check out um, fireblingcandles.com and double-check that. Um, I got a scent shot and fudge birthday cake. I normally don't purchase chocolate scents on my own, but with how I've heard um, Cody's scent smell so true to their names, I just figured fudge birthday cake smells really good. So if her scents are that true then this one should smell amazing um, and then I got the jewelry surprise melters and I got them in pink sugar which is like one of my favorite scents is pink sugar I've been liking that so much lately it seems like everybody has a pretty good pink sugar scent um, and I got those and both of them I got rings in size 10's I usually wear um, a 9 on my ring finger I have chubby fingers and I've been looking to get a ring that will fit on my middle finger. Um, I assumed it was a 10, but I think maybe my middle finger, as you can see, it's like my fingers are chubby. Like my mom's side of the family, they are like um, white and then they have some Hispanic in them. Like um, my grandmother had um, was white and Puerto Rican and my grand great-grandfather, he was him and his family all were from Peru. So it's like a little bit of Spanish in our blood, but on my dad's side, they're Polish. So I think that's where these monsters come from. I think they're like Polish sausage fingers or something. But yeah, I have to wear a 9 on this finger. A 10 will fit, but it kind of uh, like slips off. And I was thinking a 10 would fit this one. But every 10 I've gotten, I've ended up having to wear it on this finger with like one of those snuggy things. <laughs> Because the tens just seem a little bit tight on my middle finger. And I'm so sorry if you hear my daughter crying. Because she's throwing a fit. She don't want to come back um, inside. She was outside playing on the swing set. But um, let me get right into here. I'm really excited to try this. This is what I was most excited about. I haven't gotten a candle from Cody yet. have not tried Fireblinks candles. have heard so much good things about them. Just never um, was able to try them. The first order I got the melters like two separate orders of the melters and I mean for thirty dollars and then you're getting like ten pieces of big chunks of um, tarts and you get chances with like two rings thirty bucks I mean that's pretty cheap and I have to mm, I can smell this already oh that smells good and I must say when I picked this, I was looking on YouTube. Oh my gosh, she really, really packages these well in this big old bubble wrap. Okay. It is super cute, too. So when I was, um, I looked on YouTube and I was looking at some reviews a while back, and um, I seen that somebody got this candle. This is the Country Berry Hot Cakes. And, um, somebody got this and fell in love with the scent, so I figured I would try it. Um, I got this in red. I thought that's what the person got it into was red, but mine looks a little bit lighter, cause on ca or maybe it's just my camera. But it's a beautiful color. So I'm going to go ahead and smell this. It's double wicked. Oh, yep, this is good. I can definitely smell the hotcakes and the berry. It's like perfectly blended, which I can't say I'm surprised because, I, like I said, I've heard so many good things about Cody and Fireblink candles. And this is a 20-ounce candle. It's like that squarish shaped kind of. And it's double-wicked. 
We'll have to trim those down. It has directions on the back, just saying you have to light the wick of the candle and enjoy the wonderful scent. And once the foil pouch is revealed, put it out. No, put out the flame and wait for the wax to cool and then carefully remove the foil with a pair of tweezers. Unwrap the foil and enjoy your beautiful jewelry. And it says you can visit us on Facebook to upload a photo showing off your new bling at facebook.com slash candles. So, nice big candle. Smells so good. I don't know. I can see some of the oil on there. I think it's from... It was sitting outside, they dropped it off, and then it came in here, and I have my air on today. It's kind of like chilly in here now, so I don't know if it's from coming from the outside into the coolness that it's starting to, like, it looks kind of wet on the top, but that is no big deal at all. So, Cody, very good job on this one. I love it. Let me show you my scent shots. Okay, this is the scent shot that I got. It is in Fudge Birthday Cake, and so do Sody. I'm so sorry. I was thinking of Soy and Cody. I'm sorry. Cody, she um, uses 100% soy wax. So a lot of times her wax looks um, different than some other vendors that I've tried. I don't really care how the wax like looks because it's all going to get melted. But some people, they will say, um, oh, it looks funny or something. You know, something negative always usually comes out of some people's mouths and I'm not for all that I, so I just wanted to point out that she does use 100% soy so if your wax looks a little bit weird then other you know other waxes that you've tried that's why because you're getting some good quality soy wax in your melts oh man oh, oh my gosh um, I recommend to try this. If you like chocolate, if you like cake, if you like either of the two or both, get this. Because immediately, it's like, it's not like you can smell like a, like a cake, you know, like a store-bought cake or whatever. This actually smells like when you're baking the cake, how you get that like aroma from the cake. But it smells also like the batter when you're mixing the cake, like a homemade cake up that batter smell. You can smell that and you can smell the chocolate. Oh, man. Yep. I love this. And I don't know if you can hear it, but my phone is, like, dinging and going off like crazy. Fudge birthday cake. That smells delicious. Like, I really want to take a bite out of it. And this, she sent a sample. And this is in Audrey Hepburn, which I was curious about this one. I did see it. It's supposed to... I don't know if I'm saying this right, but I think it's supposed to be like, um, I don't know, maybe I'm getting the descriptions mixed up, but I thought it was supposed to be like a chanel -y feel mixed with something else, but I'm not sure, I don't, so I'm not even going to say that. Um, you'll just have to read the description for it, but, um, I think she's making some type of candles with like Audrey Hepburn, Marilyn Monroe, candles like that, and I forget what she said she's going to call them, it was something super cute. But um, I really want to try those out, too. I don't think they'll have jewelry. I'm pretty sure not because um, they're um, pretty cheap. They're, it's not like the price of what you would pay for a jewelry candle. So I'm pretty sure it's just going to be wax. Ooh. This is definitely a perfumey smell. This may be like Chanel mixed with something else. And then again, I could be totally wrong and just making a fool out of myself. But that yeah, that smells good. It's like a perfumey scent, a fresh scent, and I definitely can get like where she, why she would name it Audrey Hepburn. Mm. Yeah, that smells good. Very, very good. And then I'm going to move on to this. This is my jewelry melters. This one should be in pink sugar, which I'm excited to see if they... Um, smell just like pink sugar. I can kind of smell it already. Okay. Here they are. 
and yes, they are in pink sugar, and I chose them to be in a pink, it's like a light pink color. She always puts them in these little bags, and they're always like this. They look like little steps. They always go up. And last time, it was the top one that was the jewelry tart, so I'm not sure. But, um... You get five of them, and these are $14.99, so very, very affordable, and you get jewelry in there, so that's that's really good. I'll take the ribbon off. I'm just going to take one of these out, since all five cents are in, are in pink sugar. Oh, duh. It's the bottom one that says bling inside. I don't remember it saying that last time. I thought it was the top one. Sorry about that. Alright. And these are nice sized chunks. And again, 100% soy wax. Just like her scent shots and just like the candles. Yep. Yes, yes, yes. Pink sugar. I love pink sugar. What the heck? There we go. I love pink sugar. <sighs> And the fact that these are 100% soy, I love that too. A lot of people say that um, the 100% soy doesn't throw as well as paraffin, which I have noticed that with some vendors. But um, the last time I melted Fire Bling Wax, the Twilight Woods, and the Moonlight Path, they threw really good. So I don't know if it's just because um, Cody is that good that her stuff smells and throws so good. Yeah, that's probably what it is. It's just that she's like the um, queen of fragrances and just gets them smelling exactly the way it should. And she doesn't skimp. It doesn't seem like anyway that she skimps on the fragrance oil because it always has like a nice smell. Like it smells like not slightly like pink sugar, but really like pink sugar. Yeah, it smells really good. But I am super, super excited to go get these melted and see what I get. Um, like anybody else who has watched my videos, I do not know how to get like this video and my reveal video together. So it'll be two separate videos. Um, one for the review and one for the reveal. So I will talk to you guys later when I have these melted. I have some quick running around to do and I will be back. Bye.